How big is my CD collection? Let me show you. What is up people, Dr. Woods is right here and a lot of people have been asking me in questions, personal questions on Facebook and also on YouTube saying how on earth do I know so many songs and so many different genres, what do you really listen to as a actual person when, there's the, when the camera's off? Well I'm going to show you t today people on what have I got in my collection in CDs and there's a heck of a lot of them so it might be a little bit of a long video but like I said I won't go too far in all the CDs I'll just name a few of them out that are quite good and you guys can see what I actually own as an actual CD. So without further ado let's get into it there's quite a lot of it so let's get this started. So first off I want to show you this right here this little box here this box is literally full of loose CDs. Now pretty much I picked these randomly up in car boots, charity shops, pretty much things like that might catch my eye. Pretty much when they're loose they don't they can't sell them or they just throw them away so whatever. Right here is my now collection. Now right literally they're not all here if you guys want to know. I am missing quite a lot of them because like I said they go way beyond now 100 and pretty much I'm getting I'm quite well with the number 40s the 30s and 20s but when it hits to the 10s below it's virtually impossible because they're quite rare in this day of age coming over here though are the collectors uh, collection CDs these are like rare semi rare massive fans would really want them I have a Michael Jackson ultimate collection this thing's insane literally it's really a beautiful piece of um, history and art. Um, it's a CD slash DVD. You have Johnny Cash, Legend, another one, a beautiful one. Paul McCartney, as you guys know from the Beatles, that one was quite hard to find. But it's all there. Discs and everything. Lovely. George Michaels, 25. Can't believe he was 25 years old from that movie. We have Queen, Live at Wembley Stadium. This was the special offer inside it, which had We Will Rock You. We have Blondie Live. If you guys are massive, know Blondie, you very well know. This is the farewell concert, so this was like her very last one she ever did. We have another Michael Jackson one. This is Michael Jackson, History 1 and 2. Just recently picked this up about literally today, so I was quite happy to find this. We have Best of Bowie. David Bowie, a legend in heart, and another legend as well. We have Prince, hits collection. Another legendary icon, Elvis Presley. Michael Jackson's number one. We have the lady herself, Madonna. One of the best albums she's ever made, I think, like a prayer. Abba Gold, as you all know. Guns N' Roses, part one and part two. Found them random days. We have Freddie Mercury, Lover of Life and Singer of Songs, quite hard to come by. Guns N' Roses, welcome to the videos. And the last one which I actually picked up literally this morning and that is Meat Love, live at the Mulberry Symphony, with, with live with the Mulberry Symf Symphony Orchestra. And to be honest, I've heard about this, heard a bit about it, but never really watched it, so I'm definitely gonna watch that tonight. Over here right now, I got myself some CDs that are not from this country. So we have ourselves Boyzone, Never, Never Gone, Snoop Dogg, The Best of 2005, and Jay. Now what I found out that these are from Hong Kong and China. So the Chinese. Uh, they're all the same songs, they're all in the same lyrics, except for this one. This is purely full on Chinese. But they are quite good to listen to. Now these are the most iconic ones. Right here is a CD of Erotic from Madonna. Now this is actually a demo, so these never came out a lot. And also, this demo got a lot, a lot of um, um, people turning their nose because Madonna was actually putting out that this looks like a condom. So as you guys know, it's a packet with a little hole in the middle, so it's like a condom. That's what she was going for, and that's why it's called Erotic. So yeah, you get that. We have uh, Kylie Minogue, which is actually autographed by her. That's awesome. We have Girls Aloud, also signed. Will Young signed. And we have um, Lemon Fox signed as well. 
Now these ones here are literally like my personal favorites that don't have boxes. So I just put them in random jewel cases. So we have Beatles Revolver on his own. These two I met in a random game convention. So they gave me their CDs for free. So that was cool. We have ourselves Killing Joke, both of them. Some more Beatles. We have ourselves um, stuff from James Bond, both sides. Train Spotting, both of them, CD soundtracks. Shrek 2, Little Voice. We have, uh, I think this is Stone Roses and Daft Punk. Uh, David Bowie, single collection, and The Stranglers Peaches. Uh, Queen with Prince. Um, National Born Killers and Clerks. Donnie Darko and Hitch, um, Hitch Hancock, uh, Bridge Jones and Ashes to Ashes. Pretty much a lot of them are movie related soundtracks because you guys know me, I love my movie soundtracks. But now let's move on to the main stage. Holy shit, there's lots of them. So pretty much this first shelf is pretty much all movies. Yes, all over here. I will have to move this a little bit so you guys can see bit by bit. There is some random ones up here like, you know, now, now musicals and now 100 hit parties. But like I said, some of them is like for fun videos and a lot of you guys like. But the ones I'm going to try and do for my YouTube channels is of course my soundtrack stuff. So let's have a look at really quick randomly. So guys, you have Trolls, King and I, you have some Star Wars, Lion King, Lion King 2 as well, you have Ben the Cities. Pretty much a lot of it is Disney, Frozen of course, and Moana. Uh, Oliver Twist, been wanting to try and do that as much as I can, but like I said, a lot of them are copyrighted. Chicago is another good in there. Greatest Showman, a lot of people ask me to do that a few times. Snatch, not really heard a lot of it, but haven't had a chance to watch it. Diana Ross, a bit of Grease, you guys know that well. Michael Jackson's This Is It. Both Mamma Mia's. Uh, let's keep looking through random stuff here. You got Bohemian Rhapsody here, Men in Black. Of course, you got a lot of Dirty Dancing and Titanic. Uh, some Mission Impossible 2 from random reasons. Um, Technical Magic Dream Co. Romeo and Juliet. We have a Chinese version of Pulp Fiction. Uh, Saturday Night Fever, not the original, sadly. Uh, the Spy Who Shagged Me, Austin Powers. Some Ali G. More James Bond stuff and right at the far end is Wicked. Um, which is, um, if I remember, it was like Oz and everything, the story of Oz. Um, we have more 25 years now and Cult Files Big Box. Never really heard about it, it was very weird listening to, it's insane. We have a lot more Disney stuff right here, of course, as well as the originator of it all, Lion King. Uh, we have Matrix. We have ourselves the Communants. We have Bugs, um, Bugsy Malone. We have Coolio's Gangsters Paradise. You guys know that too well. Forrest Gump. More Star Wars. Some Spider-Man. Some Godzilla. Neil Diamond's film. Jazz Singer. Um, Triple X. Little Shop of Horrors. Peter K. As you guys know. Good morning, Vietnam. Uh, full metal, full metal, um, full metal jacket. Um, a bit of glee because some of them songs are actually quite good. But as well as I've got a bit of a WWE collection, so some WWF stuff, as you guys know, like from Tough Enough, from the entries, from all their sing songs, their their their, um, their entrance music. So quite some good stuff there. That's the first shelf. All mus all music from films and shows. Time to move on to the second So this lot's lot. quite different, okay? So move this one back up there. So pretty much the top piece here is pretty much just a load of miscellaneous random CDs. So of course you've got Bass Hunter, a bit more Madonna. We've got Tattoo, as you guys know, that's a very controversial uh, band right there. A load of single-handed CDs like um, Jessica Simpson, um, the Cha Cha Slide, we're going to Ibiza, um, Shaft and Macho Mambo Sway. You know, teenage dirt bags, you know, some of the random stuff. But like I said, all these literally will be ideas in the near future for my videos. Like I said, if you see any particular CDs here that catches your eyes that you want me to try and do, let me know. There is a special collector's box right here from Johnny Cash, Snorting Some Ash, 
We got Play Something Country, Neil Diamond, some Elvis Presley, quite a lot of Elvis Presley. I do have a double, a double one because this was my childhood's one. Um, we have um, uh, Jive Bunny, which is quite um, weird. Parties Annuals, a load of compilations right here. One of my favourite Ministry of Sound CDs ever. That's the best one, I think. Anthems number two from 1991 to 2009. I love it a lot. Uh, Robson Green and Jerome, Tina Turner, The Gorillas, Frank Sinatra, Rag and Bowman, Mo Will Young, um, loads of random stuff here. The Backstreet Boys, um, Happy Mondays. That's a Manchester band, if you know, guys know that. And a little bit in the side here. I think you can't see it unless I move these. We have ourselves Duran Duran as well. One of them as well is Chinese as well. So yeah, I've been getting a lot of Chinese stuff. On this side, as you guys can see, you have yourself some Rick Astley, you got some ABBA, including the ABBA albums, which is quite rare as well. Some legends, Bob Marley, Pat Benetton, Wham, The Voice, Tom Jones. We got a heck of a lot of Beatles, which I will show you. This is pretty much near the whole entire collection that I've collected. We got Prince, of course, Luther Vandross, Seal, Rod Stewart. We got ourselves more of David Bowie, Michael Jackson, nearly the whole entire collection of Michael Jackson, Elton John, and of course, nearly the whole collection of Queen. Haven't got any of the new ones yet because they're quite too expensive and I'm not really bothered with them. But this is a recent one I just picked, picked up today. Merry Christmas from Queen, limited edition, never heard anything about it. Definitely a keeper in my eyes. But literally the Beatles is insane. Literally I've got every single one of them that I know of. Like, Please Please Me, uh, With The Beatles, um, Rubber Soul, Help, um, Beatles For Sale, Revolver, Nights With The Beatles, Mystery Tour, Let It Be, Sgt Pepper, The Compilation, Let It Be Again, um, Past Memories, Abbey's Road, Number One, Love, and of course their compilations. So it's quite insane on how much Beatles I like, and I do like a lot of Beatles. But once again though, for some stupid raid reason, YouTube do not like having people do the Beatles on YouTube. They're fully been removed. It does annoy me because I can do a lot, a lot of Beatles, but I just cannot do it, which is a bummer. But now we've only got one shelf left, so let me just take you to that now. Now this shelf is pretty much one of my favourite ones, to be honest. So we are here, these are just random ones I've put on the top here. We have ourselves The Smiths, Green Day, American Idiot. It's one of my favourite albums they ever did. And the whole collection of Rage Against Machine. That's a quite big hitter right there. We've got some T-Rex, which I've just recently found nowadays. So I've actually started to enjoy him a lot, a lot more. Classic rock anthems, you guys know that. We have the Eagles, and once again, the Eagles again on YouTube. You cannot even do any of their covers because they fully ban you, unless you find something like this that you can actually do because it is not copyrighted. Thank God. Right down the back here, you have yourself Fallen in Reverse, REM. You have a quite a bit of Metallica right here. We've got more Guns N' Roses. And you got Arshin Sevenfold right here, Black Veil Brides, Dragon Force, and as you guys want to know, Dragon Force as well. It is the one from the legendary game Guitar Hero 3. Let me show you. There you go, Guitar Heroes 3's Dragon Force Through the Fire of Flames. One of the best albums they ever made in my eyes. Some people do disagree with me with that. Right, with that. We have The Darkness, Led, um, Death Leopard. You guys know more about that. ZZ Top, ACDC. Yes, we've got some ACDC in the Dobsey Rules cave. We have ourselves The Muse. Once again, a great album right there. We have quite a bit of Iron Maiden. Only a, only a few though. Uh, my favourite one is definitely run, uh, The Number of Beasts. That's my favourite album they ever did. That's my opinion. Uh, Meatloaf, as you guys know, I love Meatloaf. Still a massive shocker to me that he's no longer with us. We have ourselves um, various artists, the boys are back in town. Very weird, quite awesome. We've got some Billy Idol. And then we're moving into some punk here. So you got yourself the punk album. And then the band that doesn't need any explanation whatsoever. The Clash. My mother's youth, 
and my one of my favourite bands as well, The Clash, London Calling, the most famous one of them all. Hits back, the singles. That's pretty much all I've got as CDs. There is a lot more out there for CDs, but I just haven't found them yet. But also, I've got myself the Rolling Stones with their single collection, and of course, more Hot Rocks, and one of the favourite ones, Paint It Black. We have ourselves Adam and the Ants, George Michael, I mean not George Michael, uh, Boy George I meant, and the Culture Club, Phil Collins, and of course Genesis. Pretty much that is a lot of CDs people, and I've got a lot ahead of me on making videos. It's literally difficult on what to choose. Sorry if I'm not new sick like that. But literally, people, that's just my CD collection. I've got way more stuff for, like, cassettes. As you guys can see, I've got loads of different cassettes. And like I said, I do get ideas from cassettes as well, because this is here is Monty Python's uh, music and also funny skits. As well, I've got ACDC there, Alice Cooper, Full Monty, Rick Astley, the Blues Brothers. You see where my ideas are coming from as well. And as well as that, I also have records in vinyl. So I have not got... I have not got like a limited amount of stuff to listen to and to make for videos. It's just that I'm extremely busy doing all the stuff as well. Because as you guys know, I'm trying to lose weight. I am now training with Lou. I am doing live streams. I'm trying to do lip syncings. I'm trying to do pack openings. I'm trying to find a job. There's a lot to pile on my back, people. And literally, when things have to stop, things have to stop. So people ask me to do requests, they have to stop. I have to go through the old stuff and get them over and done with before I can do all the new stuff. So, without further ado, people, if you guys enjoyed the look of the collection, a lot, a lot of amazing stuff, to be honest, people. And to be honest, I really do like a lot of it. And if you guys see something that, that caught your eye and you want me to try and do, leave it in the comments down below and I'll have a look and see if I can do it. And also, the last thing, people, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And right here, as you guys can see, this is how many people who watch my channel are not subscribed. So what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button and enjoy yourself, because it looks like you have been anyhow. Without further ado, the people I'm going to see you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!